Well, a teen's routine drive home from baseball practice turned into a mission to save a man's life. He drove past the scene of a car crash involving a Charlotte UPS driver and then just immediately jumped into action. Well, just a few hours ago, the teen spoke exclusively with our Queen City News reporter, Daniel Pierce. And Daniel, you said that it appears he was the most qualified bystander for this situation. Yeah, which is a weird thing to say, but Walter Bretz and two other people stopped to help the driver who was unconscious at the wheel. In fact, Walker told me that he was hanging outside of the vehicle. He said that he immediately started to treat the situation as if the driver had a seizure. Why? Because the high schooler suffers from them himself. I found this to be a very brave and honorable act coming from someone his age. There were many cars that slowed down without stopping. And if your player can do this for a complete stranger, I can only imagine how great of a teammate he is. Those aren't empty words about an empty gesture made for convenience sake. They capture a moment in time that saved many more moments for one UPS driver. You never know when it could happen to you. You never know when anything could happen in life. Um, so, I mean, just decompressing, sitting there thinking about it, like just how thankful I was to be in that situation to help that man. Walter Breitz is number four for East Mecklenburg Eagles baseball team. He's played the sport all four years of high school. None of that mattered Monday night at around 745 to a man whom he had never met. Normally I either take Independence or Monroe to get to my dad's. And that night I was like, you know what, like, let me just take Sardis. And just knowing that spot, that's a dangerous spot, and you never know what could go wrong there. After practice, Walker drove by this intersection of Sardis Road and Sardis Road North and saw the UPS truck had smashed into a tree. There were cars going by without stopping, and obviously I could tell, like, it wasn't something that just happened because I probably could have seen it from where I was in the distance. Um, and I was, I could tell he was hanging out the side, like, that guy needs some help. Walker and two other people who had stopped quickly jumped in to try and save the man. I could tell that he was probably having a seizure. That was my best bet. Um, and so I was like, what we need to do, keep him on his side, how he sort of is, make sure he doesn't choke on his tongue or saliva at this point. The 18-year-old knew exactly what to do because, well, he lives with the constant risk of it happening to him. I'm glad that I was able to be there because I have epilepsy myself, and so I know seizures and signs of them and stuff like that. The group worked together, helping the man until EMS crews arrived and carried him away. The 18-year-old didn't mention it to anybody but his parents. Until Wednesday, when one of the other bystanders sent a letter to his coach, which led to this moment Thursday night. We'd like to honor Walker with the Purple Heart Student Lifesaver Award for his heroism on that day. Helping save someone in any way is definitely more important than winning a baseball game on a field. Now, Walker hasn't been able to find out if the UPS driver he helped is okay or if he's still in the hospital. He and the other bystander, West, are going to stay in touch. And once that driver's out, they plan to speak with him as soon as they can. Alicia.